welcome to the Slingshot Channel. <laughs> some are shooting with the cannon. It's gonna be fun. We have some different ammo types today. First of all, we have lighter ammo, like this shorter arrow, which is just about 500 grams, about one pound. And this is when the dragon is a little bit more far away. So this is a coward's version of a dragon arrow. <laughs> Still very lethal with a nine inch nail as a tip. This is the first full length arrow, but it has no steel tip. It just has a fire hardened wooden tip. It's gonna be interesting to see how it flies. And um, it's gonna be interesting to see the penetration into the car door. There may be no penetration at all. And yes, a three kilogram heavy, massive 12 millimeter stainless steel tip. I know that it is quite a curve already at 22 meters distance. This is not a coward's arrow. There's a lot of people that says, yeah, but you know, this is not gonna work at 100 meters. Of course not, it's a muscle operated weapon. Of course there's a curve at 100 meters. This is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> you have to let the dragon come close. First, the short, lightweight arrow, 500 grams. And... Okay. Seems like it went into the hilt and dented the entire door and it came out on the other side. Now the fire hardened tip. So this is what happens when you shoot wood against steel. A mighty knock and then the wood splinters. Okay. <laughs> now the heavy steel lands. I caught it low on the strongest part of the steel. But see, it crashed through the steel and through the wood and got stuck in the second wooden beam. Okay, guys, I have loved to continue a bit, but one of the bands snapped and now the cannon is ready for some repairing. And also, I can't get this out. I don't know what happened, but it's jammed in so deeply that I don't know how to pry it out again. So, uh, the last arrow, I can't test it for a while. Anyway, this is most devastating for sure. <laughs> it was fun. I hope you liked it too, because that's it for today. Thanks and bye-bye.